Welcome back to another episode of NASA Space News. Now that the puzzle piece has been found, scientists can get closer to solving a key mystery about the Sun. Researchers have discovered a complex dynamic web-like plasma structure in the middle of the atmosphere of the Sun, which they believe is the birthplace of the solar wind. The discovery was made thanks to very rare solar observations, and it will pave the way for a NASA mission set to launch next year. The corona is the outmost layer of the Sun's atmosphere. We can only see it when the Moon completely blocks out the Sun during a total solar eclipse. Due in part to the lack of observations of the Sun's corona at heights below 1.3 million miles, or 2 million kilometers, the middle corona, located approximately 650,000 miles, or 1 million kilometers above the Sun's surface, has been the least observed area of the solar atmosphere. To the best of our knowledge, these middle corona observations and extreme ultraviolet wavelengths were released in August 2021, and are a first of their kind. With the use of cutting-edge devices, with wide viewing angles, researchers have identified the middle corona as the source of solar wind structures. The discovery offered the first in-depth explanation of how the solar winds form, shedding light on a phenomenon that affects every planet in the solar system. Scientists have coined the term space weather to describe many ways in which the sun and its eruptions might impact Earth. Space weather has the potential to disrupt electrical systems, interfere with mobile phone signals, and damage electronic devices. Although scientists have a general idea of how solar winds and other space weather are released, they still lack a solid grasp on the precise processes responsible for doing so. Recently, however, fresh observations and information from more space probes and computer simulations have shown a complex plasma network in the middle corona. After a month-long observation campaign with the Solar Ultraviolet Imager, or SUVI, on NOAA's GOES-17 weather satellite, a group of scientists from across the world reviewed the data they had collected. The satellite's extended field of view captured images of not only the center of the Sun, but also its sides, providing an unusual glimpse at this region's structure and evolution. Using this information, the researchers followed the movement across the solar disk of a pair of coronal holes. These coronal holes are dark regions on the Sun that indicate areas where the Sun's magnetic field is exposed to space and material and is being expelled. Researchers found a highly organized coronal web, dubbed the S-Web in the center of the Sun's corona, after coronal holes formed on the Sun's east and west sides. It is composed of magnetized plasma structures that are constantly interacting and reconnecting. Solar wind streams were seen to be started by this process far above the coronal web. Results from this research may be applicable to the launch of the polarimeter to unify the corona and heliosphere, or PUNCH, a NASA mission scheduled for 2023. The purpose of this two-year mission is to learn more about how the Sun's corona creates solar wind by taking three-dimensional images of the Sun's outer corona and the solar system's closest area. That's all for now. Make sure you don't miss any updates by subscribing to the channel. Also, if you enjoyed this video, consider checking out our previous videos. And for up-to-the-minute updates, visit our website at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.